here I am at Tower Bridge on my way to Manzies. What's up guys and welcome to another edition of Franco Speaks. Well I'm in London at the very famous Manzies Pie Mash Shop to take on their 5 and 5 challenge. So we're here at the world's famous Manzies Pie Mash Shop and June has kindly volunteered like, to give us a bit of information about the history about Manzies Pie Shop. Michael and Michelle Manzies came over uh, from Italy and wanted to start a business. He bought ice creams initially, but because of the area, no one knew what ice cream was, couldn't afford it. Yeah. So the Thames was the nearest source of food. Eels were in abundance, free. So we introduced eel pies. And it's been, since then, it's been a family-based place. Everyone comes here, they enjoy it, they enjoy the atmosphere, the banter with the girls behind the Yeah. So um, it would have been eel pie recently. Yeah and it would have been served with a liquor, which is a pasta sauce. That's no longer the case now, because we cater for being a vegetarian. They're all made on the premises. Everything is made on the premises. Nice and fresh as well. Nice and fresh every day. They're a minced beef pie uh, with a flaky pastry on the top, more of a suet-y yeah. pastry on the bottom, um, and the pasta sauce. We do have a great option, although if you have that, you have to sit at the back of the shop, face the wall. OK. Uh, it's not <laughs> tradition. <laughs> And so today I'm going to be taking on a five and five challenge, five pie, five mash, and see how I get on. Well, June, thank you so much. It's been a pleasure welcome. to meet you, and thank, thank you for you. making me feel so welcome today. You're very welcome. Yeah. My goodness. There you go, my lovely. Thank you so much. So as you can see, the, the mash is nice and thick. The liquor is absolutely tasty. The pies are absolutely fantastic as well. So I'm making sure I'm coating all the pies, all the mash with some liquor to try and soften it up slightly. I did wait a few minutes for it to try and cool down, but the pies definitely retain their heat and I definitely found that as I got into the challenge. Definitely it's time to eat now. So the adrenaline was definitely pumping and as you'll see I went at full pelt at these pies. They were literally disintegrating with my speed. You can definitely see it's a messy challenge, uh, but the pies were going down really well at this stage. Definitely making use of the liquor here, making sure that every single pie is coated to try and soften it up but there was still quite a bit of heat in there, so as quickly as I was trying to get it down, the heat was uh, definitely getting to me. So I'm less than a minute in and three pies are basically down. As you can see, the, the, the mince, the, the liquor's going everywhere, but it made it all the more of an exciting challenge. Definitely stepping into Manzies, it definitely has that old world feel of London and it takes you back to many old movies that you might see, especially with the green and white tiling. It's uh, familiar in many places in the east end of London. So here's the team at Manzies cheering me on, definitely pushed me on to complete the challenge as quickly as possible. So now I've reverted uh, to the spoon to try and uh, complete all the, all the mints. Now I'm moving on to the mash as well. Making use of that liquor to try and soften it up. As you can see, the portion of mash was absolutely huge. I'm still managing to keep some pace here with the mash. I think uh, as I go along, it starts to slow me down slightly, but I've, I can sense victory in my sights. I've got to keep on saying, like, the team at Manzies are just so hospitable and so friendly. 
definitely worth a visit if you haven't uh, been there before. The liquor was definitely helping at this stage, getting the mash down nice and quickly. I think it was a good idea to coat the mash and the pies with the liquor just to soften up both uh, food components. So I must admit, this challenge went far, faster than I expected. I wasn't expecting for it to go down so quickly. I definitely want to go back and probably take on a larger challenge at Mandy's and many other pie and mash shops. I think the initial speed that I had with the pies, uh, I was starting to wane and be quite slow at this, uh, this time. I think the, the mash really got to me. As, a, as fantastic as it was, it just really started to, to get to me. But I knew I had it in my sights to complete the challenge. Let's see um, what time I can complete it in. So I think I was definitely slowing down at this stage. It was taking a bit longer to chew than expected. And so I'm taking a bit more of a break in between mouthfuls now. But I can see I was at the end and uh, let's see how long it takes me. So last couple of uh, spoonfuls ahead of me. So ladies and gents, I'm making sure there's definitely no doubt and I'm even finishing the liquor. So all the pies, all the mash are completed, as well as the liquor. So I'm just waiting for the final uh, mouthful to go down. And then I decide to make sure that I've cleaned the plate properly. So I'm making all the food eaters in the world proud by finishing off like the liquor as well and making sure the challenge is fully completed. Hopefully no arguments there from anyone in the comments. waiting for the food to go down and challenge completed. Really happy with that, really happy with how that went. I've got to say the, the team behind the counter, absolutely fantastic. Couldn't have asked for more support from them. Mandy's, you've been absolutely amazing today. And there you have it, five minutes 41. Five pie, five match. Lovely. So ladies and gents, there you have it. Five pie, five mash, five minutes 41.